everybody. I'm Skizzabizzle. I do a lot of streaming on Twitch and I'm working on making my way to more content on YouTube and I feel a great way is to do some stream element tutorials because there's a lot of things that people don't know on stream elements like I just found this out recently but they have a media sharing option that can allow your community to request songs so if you want your community to be able to request songs you got to follow these steps in the video it's actually really cool let me um let me pop this up real quick show you like if you have it on stream boom you can have you can have it pop up full video you can do the music without the video you do still have to watch for copyright issues that is one thing that is still not allowed you know dmca all that stuff so maybe put it in the queue moderation and i'll show you how to do it So here's the Stream Elements website. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. If you're not, it's a great tool to have. There's plenty of options. Um, one thing you're gonna see right now is I'm already on the page. To get to that, on the left side over here, you're going to have your bar of options and it's actually in the other. So when you click other, there's media requests. So when you click media requests, you'll get to here. And there's still another step you have to do to actually get it onto your stream. And I'll show you that here in a little bit. But for now, this is, you can set all this up, but then you will have to add the media request to an overlay, which I'll also show you how to do. Um, but in the top, you have the option to turn off viewer requests. So you could just do it yourself. Um, and then you also have the queue moderation. That is what I was talking about because some, you gotta watch what people are doing. If you leave it fully open, People will just put on things that can honestly get you in trouble and you don't want that. Um, I don't do the queue moderation. Most of my community is really good with it. And if you got like five songs, you have time to go through and you can remove it personally. Um, so if you look down, it's not showing my list. So let's, let's skip to the next one. So. Here's my like default list that I just have for when I'm playing. And so you'll see a list like this and you can go in um, and you'll have options to skip. So you can skip, delete, you know, when people have requested it. And you can also, if you don't want to have to switch streams while you're streaming, um, exclamation mark skip, we'll skip to the next song and things like that. And if you type the wrong song, you can also go back and um, type exclamation point wrong song and it'll just remove it off the list. There's there's a ton of commands. You'll have to look those up. I'm not going to post all those. But so there's that. And then there's all kinds of really cool settings. There's all kinds of settings that you can use um, to just make it a little more fun. You can make it a little more um, direct as to who's going to be able to request songs. So there's the free option. There's tip option. And there's both. I have not messed around with the tip. I leave this as free. I love my community to be able to come in and play the music. Um, then there's the Q limit. The Q limit, you know, a mod can put as many songs as they want. Uh, if you have someone modded in your chat, it doesn't really stop them. And it also doesn't seem to stop the, um, the um, length of the songs they can put in. So for like most people, you know, I have a five minute list. But my mods, I, they accidentally, <laughs> they've dropped like full albums of songs before by accident. And then this is also where you can put the backup playlist in. So if you have a playlist on YouTube, you can share that link here and that's how you can have your own list. That'll play by default, even if some nobody's requesting songs. And you can also make a show. Um, Here's the options where you can make the song request cost loyalty points. I believe it's stream elements loyalty point. And you can give the subscribers a discount, you know, and loyalty points. And who can use it? I, I don't make it cost loyalty points. I just, as I said, I let everybody do it. Um, prioritize tip. There's, you know, just options here. 
And then there's also, you can also blacklist certain songs. So if you got someone coming in and they keep trying to play one song and it plays a different one, you can blacklist it. I had someone come into my stream and they tried to play Tech 9 Red Nose. When, or not Red Nose. They tried to play Tech 9 Red Kingdom. And me being a Raiders fan, that shit ain't going on my screen. And then also when people were trying to type the Pokemon theme song, they kept bringing up this video. And you can also, I believe down here, you can allow people to skip. There's a filtering option. Where Oh, and up top right there. There it is. Um, you can limit to music so that like random videos don't pop up. It does make it a little difficult um, when people are requesting because if they don't use the link, so when you're doing the request, exclamation SR space and then you can click the song and then the artist or the artist or, and the song and you kind of want to do both because there's so many songs called the same thing um, or you could take a YouTube link and do exclamation SR space YouTube and play that and it'll it'll find the song so that's that's good you know that's that's one portion of this but to actually have it in your stream, this is just setting up the media request. You're going to need to go into the streaming tool and go to your overlay. And what you'll do is you'll create a new overlay for it. If you can see that on there, I know it's kind of stretched in the background. Let me, um, let me just double check. No, you cannot see. So let me... Let me skip this down a bit. Fit this. Okay. I don't know why it was so off screen anyway, but here we are. Um, wish I could say I was gonna fix that in editing, but I'm not going. To. So here's the new overlay. You would create a new overlay. Let's just go. I already have one, but we'll do it anyway. So 1080p. Yep. And then you can add widgets and stuff if you've never made your own overlay. But right here, there's a little plus thing. And if you've never seen this on Stream Element, they have really cool things. Um, this is where you can set up all your, you know, subscribers, tips, bits, all that stuff. Um, but engagement is where you're going to find this one. The engagements and media requests. And so when you do engagements and media requests, this is basically going to be... It's like your screen, right? So you're going to want to put it somewhere. I'll probably put it right there. And then you can have show time left, show amount, show video title. You can have all these options. You can change the color of the borders and stuff. Uh, position and size of the box. You can change all of that. And then also the text. You can kind of change what it looks like. So it's a really cool option. Um, and when you are making this do not forget to save if you don't save it it's not gonna work so you could do um sr music song request music just name it whatever you want so and then you're gonna want to grab your link here you're gonna want to grab that overlay thing open up stream elements again and we're gonna go display capture and so once you get that, you have the link, you're going to want to create a browser source for it. So here's the browser source. Create a new one. Name it um, SR Music, if you know, whatever you want. And then you're going to paste that into here. And then so you don't really see it right now because it's not there. So now what you're going to want to do is go back to stream. So when you start your stream, I'd leave stream uh, elements open. If if you have a page displayed over the stream elements to where it's not seen, it will stop playing the music. So I kind of split my screen 50 and 50 when I do it to keep the music going. Let's go back to display capture. Let's, um, let's get back into the music thing. Here, media request so now when you have the media request now when you hit share on screen everything will load up but you need to make sure you need to make sure you got that 50 50 screen 
Uh, you can't see my display right now. Well, I guess I could open up the display. Let's open that up. So I split it 50-50 so that it would be able to be seen. It's not loading right now for whatever reason. Oh, there we go. Um, so now when you hit show on screen, it's going to pop up. Okay, so you're going to want the song request music on the top of your list so it displays first or wherever you may want it. How you, however you're going to play You may want things cast over at a certain time. Um, certain alerts or whatever so it all depends where you really put that but when the music playing it will be playing the video and like I was saying for people to be able to do requests they have to type just like this SR and say Dax depression great song but then it'll pop up boom it's on the playlist it'll play in order of what the requests were So that was a little choppy, but we got it figured out. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a whisper on on Twitch or even you know comment down below here on YouTube. Let me know if you have questions about it. Try to stick to copyright free music. Remember that, and uh, hit that like and subscribe button for me. I'm trying to trying to get the partner on YouTube. Thanks. Guys.